What is going on, guys? It's Miguel Fuentes coming back at you once again. Welcome back. Welcome back. Guys, I have an awesome topic for you today. I This is something that I'm very, very passionate about because I do feel like it's it's a real problem. It's a real problem that pretty much all people deal with, especially entrepreneurs, because it's so easy to fall into this trap and and not get results in your business or in your life because of these things. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about do, don't spew, and how making your bed can make you a fortune. <laughs> Let's get into this, guys. Oh, wait. Before I do, before I do, as if you do need a hand with your Instagram marketing or you, you just need a little bit of advice, definitely head on over to MiguelJFuentes.com. That's my blog. I have a lot of good, valuable stuff there that can help you out uh, with whatever you're working on. So go check it out. Guys, one thing that, that, that I've noticed, okay, I've noticed this about people in general, not just entrepreneurs, not just people that are on a path, but people in general. Sometimes we say a lot of things that are that that we don't mean, and and I don't mean to say that we're liars or we're bad people or anything. Sometimes we intend stuff that does not come to fruition. So what I mean by that is, if you're out there and you're talking a big game in your business, you're saying how how you're going to run hard and you're going to do all this stuff, or even just simple things like I'm going to shoot videos today. Or I'm going to uh, create content and post it. I'm going to write the blog post today. And then you find yourself sitting on the couch watching Game of Thrones munching a bag of chips. <laughs> That's what we're talking about today, guys. There's reasons for that. There is, is reasons for that. And if, if that's happening to you, I want to encourage you right now to just to just stop it. To just really commit within yourself to doing the things that you said you were going to do. If you told yourself that today is the day you make the calls, today is the day you make the calls. If you told yourself today is the day you write the blog post, then that day is today. There's no more putting things off because you're just putting off your future and falling into the trap of training your mind to, to have bad habits to have bad habits and to not trust yourself, to not trust yourself with what you said you were going to do. Now consider this. If you get into a regular habit of breaking your word to yourself, like, okay, I said I was going to do, as an example, I was going to write the blog post today, but I didn't do it. It's okay. I'll write it tomorrow. Oh, it's okay. I don't need to make the calls now. I can talk to that person tomorrow or it, it's I know it's the scheduled marketing time that I said I was going to do and commit to with my DMO but I, I can't do it today because of whatever reason that is a killer that is an absolute killer and it is so destructive in your business that's that's the sure way to make sure that you don't reach the success that you want and it's the sure way to ensure that you are living an unproductive life I can <laughs> I can guarantee, guarantee, guarantee that for sure. So what do we do? What can we do to help ourselves be, become that master marketer? How can we get ourselves to that consistent state where we're creating on a regular basis? We're keeping our word to ourselves and we're doing the thing that we said we were going to do. Here's a cool way to remember this. This is a very cool way to remember this. Uh, one of my mentors said this on a call and it stuck right in my heart, and I've remembered it ever since, and I'm going to share it with you, and I feel like it's going to help you remember to remember. Like when I say that, remember to, to commit to yourself, to keep your commitments to yourself, and it's this. Make your bed. Make your bed. Make your bed every single day, okay? I don't mean literally. This is just an awesome way to remember how – that you need to keep your word to yourself. And here, here's how this works. Let's say if you were, if you could commit to yourself to wake up every day and make your bed. Okay. If you can commit to yourself every single day, I'm going to wake up. I'm going to make that bed as a habit, as a habit. I'm going to do that. 
and this could be anything. I'm going to commit to myself to wake up every day and, and take out the trash or sweep the floor or, you know, take my vitamins or whatever, whatever it is that you're doing. And if you can commit to yourself to do these simple activities, to do these small ideas, you have now empowered your mind to, to trust you, to trust that what you say is law, that your word is the law around here, that there will be no more delays on what you know you need to get done. There will be no more times when you skip things because you will train your mind that this is the right way that it should be done. And this starts with something as simple as making your bed, okay? Keeping your commitment to yourself. If you are 100% sure that you can't do something, don't tell somebody that you can't, that you can. Don't commit to things unless you are absolutely certain that yes, I can make it that time. I can do it that day. Have your priorities sorted out. It will make a huge difference in the results that you are getting. When you, when you can do this, you are just, you are empowering yourself to be that greater person, to be that marketer, to take control of those habits and your mind, which is going to ultimately lead to your ultimate success. That's what's going to get you there because you have that commitment within yourself. You know you can trust yourself and you know you will execute the things that you said you were going to do. And that is so, that's what's going to get you there. Nothing else within your mind, all of the training that you can get, all of the advice, all of the encouragement, none of that stuff is going to help or be executable unless you can commit to yourself to execute the thing, unless you can commit to yourself to execute the activities on a regular and consistent basis. That means keeping your DMO. That means waking up when you said you were going to wake up. That means doing the things that you need to do every single day. That is the secret. And is, there is no real secret to success, okay? This is simply practical, logical, and it's real. Over time, you commit to these small activities. I'm going to make my bed. I'm going to write the blog post that I said. I was going to shoot the video that I said. It will become a habit for you to follow your patterns. It will become a habit for you to create that regular content, talk to people, and do those things. And guess what? Over time, your results will come. Your success will show up. The things that you wanted, the things that you dream about, will all start to materialize in your life simply from having the ability to commit to making your bed, to commit to doing the do and not just talking the spew, <laughs> not just saying it, just putting it out there, like, you know, declaring that, yes, I'm going to have the success and then not follow through. All of this, all the success that you could possibly ever create in your life hinges on your ability to execute. So grow it. So work on it. So grow that ability to execute what you are doing in your business. And it starts small. It's, it's, it starts small with those little things like keeping your word, like doing the thing you said you were going to do. And that's, that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Your word is law. Your word is the absolute law in your world, in your life. So make it law. Make it real. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I absolutely appreciate you uh, for being here today. I, I, I'm doing, I, I've, I've changed up my DMO slightly and I'm, I'm working into a new groove that I feel like works for me. And I think it's going to work for you too because I'll be able to be here more often, which I'm super duper excited about. I'm super duper pumped to be sharing more value on a more regular basis with 
better quality. So <laughs> I'm excited about that. Guys, as always, if you do need a hand with your Instagram marketing or marketing in general, um, I actually do have an amazing Instagram training at realinstamagic.com. You can go check it out. It's an amazing training that will help you just start getting better results with Instagram. And guys, it's helped me build one account over 18K. I have several others over five, six, seven, eight thousand 8,000 followers on each. And it's all stuff that I've learned through execution. This isn't fluff. This isn't hype. This isn't stuff I borrowed. It's stuff that I, I have uh, learned through through simply executing actual and real strategies that work. So that's real insta magic dot com, just like that. Okay, much love, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Take care. Bye.